Did you imagine that the business and the mission would have grown this much and you would be at almost a half a million dollars donated through Seven Weeks Coffee? I think we're just getting started, but this milestone of $500,000 donated is going to be awesome to surpass. We're obviously unapologetically pro-life. We're actually leading the charge in how we source our coffee. So we like to say we're a pro-abundant life from the farmers we get to support to the moms at pregnancy care centers. What is your advice to someone listening who maybe is an entrepreneur themselves or is trying to get into starting a business? Anton Kresic, welcome to the podcast. Thank you so much for having me on, Lila. All right. We're big fans of you on the show. As you know, we talk about seven weeks all the time. It's really amazing what you've built. So I'm excited to share with the audience some of the background here because not many people know it. So for starters, tell us a little bit about your background, Anton, and then what inspired you to found Seven Weeks Coffee? Yeah, so I used to um, work in political fundraising, but I always had a passion for the pro-life movement. Um, It really inspired Seven Weeks Coffee was four years ago, I got to visit a pregnancy center for the first time. I was always pro-life. I grew up in a pro-life household, but I didn't know what it looked like. You You know, until you actually see it in action, especially like a pregnancy center, you don't know what actually it means to live out a pro-life worldview. And I just saw the work that they did, um, saving lives in the community, um, helping mothers. But one thing stuck out to me, how underfunded um, centers can be. And it was really moving because you saw the need, you see what they're doing, but um, there's a gap with uh, the resources they have. Um, So that was four years ago. Fast forward to 2021. Um, I had the idea for Seven Weeks Coffee out of a passion for coffee and out of a passion to support local pregnancy resource centers um, with the mission of donating back 10% of every sale. So that's how it came to be. It was funny enough that it was was two weeks after I got married, I started Seven Weeks Coffee. I I called my wife, told her the idea for um, this company. Um, She was totally on board. She helped me come up with the name because at seven weeks, a baby is the size of a coffee bean, as your audience knows, and it's the same time a heartbeat's detected. And local centers, which we which we support, um, provide ultrasound services. So that's a little bit about me and uh, the mission of Seven Weeks Coffee and how we get to give back at a local level. That's so beautiful. It's so awesome, Anton. And tell me now, I, 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 we sometimes up the number on the show because the business is growing, the mission continues to grow, which is very exciting. How much money so far has Seven Weeks Coffee been able to donate to pregnancy resource centers directly? And what are your goals? I know there's a big audacious goal now in order to further fuel the pro-life movement and help moms connect with their babies to save lives. Yeah. So I'll start from the beginning because um, that first month when we started, we didn't really know where this would go. Um, That first month, we just wanted to sell coffee and give back to our local center. That month, we sold $8,000 and dropped off a check for $800 and just thought it was the coolest thing because we were able to give back. Now, um, you're right, we are growing. We've been able to raise nearly $450,000 supporting over 850 centers across the nation with the same model, uh, providing world-class specialty coffee and giving back to local centers, um, which is really cool because we're coming up and launching um, right now, this new initiative called Drink More Coffee, Save More Lives, because we're approaching $500,000 donated, um, which has the impact to provide 5,000 ultrasound services. So for your viewers to know, it, it's around $100 to service and provide an ultrasound to an expecting mother in need. Um, and ultrasounds um, are truly the way that uh, help um, moms choose life for their babies. So we believe um, the $500,000 we're about to donate Um, can provide 5,000 ultrasound services and save 5,000 lives. So that's why we're launching this initiative um, called Drink More Coffee, Save More Lives, Help Us Save 5,000 Lives. Um, It's been truly remarkable. We're coming up on three years old, and this is just a really cool milestone. We're grateful to reach with our audience and our consumers all over the country. That's actually an amazing milestone for just three years of business. And I know, again, you started at small just to support one pregnancy center. Now you're at 850. Did you imagine when you were starting just three years ago, and it was also pandemic time, I mean, there's all this craziness happening in the economy. Did you imagine that the business and the mission would have grown this much and you would be at almost a half a million dollars donated through Seven Weeks Coffee? Yeah, I, I had no idea. You know, it's funny when you're just starting something, it's hard to see uh, in, down the road where things can do, where things can go. But right away, what was interesting, we saw so many people have uh, enthusiasm and support of our brand. So we knew we were like onto something, which really shows 
Um, there's, there's so many Christian and pro-life consumers out there who are dying for products that align with their mission, that they can um, buy something that they support. And so we were truly filling a void that we didn't maybe even realize was there. Um, and it quickly caught on. Um, now it, it definitely has me um, you know, looking forward to say, hey, this is what we've been able to do in nearly three years. Um, I think we have so much more that we can do and grow. We want to see our support to almost every pregnancy center in the nation. We want to be the resource, the funding resource for the pro-life movement because we think there's so many great opportunities to support in the pro-life movement, out, including pregnancy centers from adoption to maternity to homes now we're getting to support. Um, I think we're just getting started, but this milestone of $500,000 donated is going to be awesome to surpass. So we're excited to invite uh, your viewers and people all over the country who love coffee and want to make a difference. Um, they really can do that um, by joining um, Seven Weeks Coffee every morning. Amazing. And then Anton, just share a little bit. What I really love about your product is that it's not just, oh, it's a good cause. Obviously, it is the most important cause in my opinion. And as you know, uh, you feel the same way. It's not just that we're trying to save lives here and you are helping save lives directly, but that you've created and crafted both a brand and a product that is just the best in class. I mean, it is an excellent product. The coffee is absolutely delicious. It's small batched. It's fresh. And there's all these different blends that I have loved to try and experiment with. But tell me a little bit what went into the process of developing the product so that it truly is the best coffee product on the market. Yeah, it's a great thing we love to talk about because we believe two things. We believe um, life is worth fighting for and defending. But we also believe to do that with our brand as a coffee company. We believe the consumer deserves a better cup of coffee. And we do that by how we source our coffee and provide that to customers. So what's unique about us is we're one of the only coffee companies that sources through direct trade, which means we buy directly from farmers. Um, there's no middleman. Every coffee we sell, we personally know the farmers who grew it, the hands that touched it and produced this crop. So we have complete transparency over the supply chain. This leads to exceptional quality, top one to 2% of the beans in the world. It allows us to treat farmers um, equitably and give them 300% more than fair trade requires because we're not buying through a middleman. So oftentimes farmers are paid pennies on the dollar. We don't do that. We buy directly from farmers and help communities across the nation um, from farmers in Ethiopia to Haiti, which obviously is a poor country, but we support sustainable employment there through our coffee um, importing. And it's just awesome that we get to match what we say, excellence in mission and excellence in product, because we believe to really move the needle um, with market-based products, you have to actually compete in the market. So we're obviously unapologetically pro-life, but we are also a much better product comparatively to your Starbucks, or your Dunkin' Donuts, <laughs> or other specialty coffees out there. We're actually leading the charge in how we source our coffee. So we like to say we're a pro-abundant life from the farmers we get to support to um, the moms at pregnancy care centers. Amazing. One more question for you, Anton. You've started this young. You know, you had just gotten married when you launched the company. It's now a multi-million dollar company. Your revenue is hitting in the multi-millions. And here you are about to donate a half a million to pregnancy centers, which is an amazing milestone. What is your advice to someone listening who maybe is an entrepreneur themselves or is trying to get into starting a business? What has been some of the guiding stars for you? Maybe your top two pieces of advice for entrepreneurs. Yeah, you know, the two the two biggest things I think for me were um, you have to be incredibly persistent when you start, um, and be incredibly resourceful, um, and you have to you have to learn how to cast a vision quickly. What I what I do re regret is not thinking, you know, long term down the road from the beginning, because, you know, if you are in it to start something for a mission, you believe in a product you love. Um, have a big vision for it because it truly can happen. Um, I've experienced that and I'm just incredibly grateful and blessed for that. But um, when you think long term and plan in that in that fashion, um, it really sets you up for um, what I think is um, what can, can really change your life and you know change your trajectory that um, your family walks it, you know your family has with your business like me and my wife, this has become our mission. So um, yeah, don't be afraid to to um, to dream big with with the business you want to start. Awesome. Thank you so much, Anton. Where can people find? Well, I tell them all the time, sevenweekscoffee.com. Tell people what how to get involved right now so that they can help you reach half a million to pregnancy centers. 
Yeah, you can uh, shop our Drink More Coffee, Save More Life sale, subscribe and save 15%, um, and then get a free pro-life tote. It says Drink Coffee, Save Lives on it to commemorate this $500,000 anniversary. And as always, they can use code Lila to save an extra 10%. So we, we definitely encourage all listeners to do that and uh, join us in this amazing achievement. Thank you so much, Anton, for joining the podcast. Yeah, thank you so much for having me on, Lila.